<laughs> right when I clicked record on this fucking phone, I trip over sand, <laughs> over nothing. <laughs> Perfect. Anyway, uh, this video is for my little brother. <laughs> Goddamn birds, shut up. <laughs> it's one of those asshole birds, too. They got these white stripes on there. I've literally had it since, I don't know if they're in Missouri, but these fucking birds out here, so, I love them. I love anything, I love any animal with attitude. These fucking birds will fly at you. I've had them fly at me mo many times. It doesn't even matter that I'm like a high vibrational being. They just... Wee! <laughs> coming at me. <laughs> I literally had to turn around the other day. I was like, I had to raise my hand. Like I'm about to smack the shit out this. I'm walking the dog. But I had to raise my hand. Like I'm about to smack the shit out this bird. Bird just like hovered for a second, backed up, landed, and it came back at me again in a minute. <laughs> Always when I had my head back, back of my head to him. Oh, I love that. Anyway, uh, this is a video from my little brother. Um, He asked me, hit me up, and... Uh, I didn't see the message because it just the way my YouTube was set up on my phone, blah, 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 blah. But I downloaded an app so now I can like look at my stats and views and length periods of how long and what. Like it says, by the way, it's funny because it says like people watch my videos for about estimated three minutes and I'm like, load teachability index. <laughs> I can only handle a TikTok length video. I can't do 45 minutes. It's funny because there's a bunch of people in the spiritual community just like me who do what I do, which is watch fucking actual information, which takes more than three minutes. Yeah. Anyway, I'm doing great. I can't tell you everything, little bro, because, well, I mean, my videos do do that. I am telling you. Tell them what I'm talking, thinking about, and going through the day. Um, right now, I'm making a great. I have a great job. I make one five five. I make fifteen bucks an hour. That's funny. One five five on the video, and uh, yeah, I make fifteen bucks an hour. So, ooh, ten hours a day. Ooh, well, nine hours a day because two breaks that are thirty minutes long, perfectly spaced, so the day goes by quick. It's really cool. Um, Pretty much my life consists of having a dog in a car all fucking day with a fan and everything on him and trying to keep him, you know, as happy as I can. And uh, it's saving up money. Just saving up money. Got hundreds of hundreds. You save, just saving it up uh, to get a place. It's my goal and my dream. Everybody keeps trying to fuck it up, including mom and grandpa and shit. But they can't do that to me no more. <laughs> so, yeah, I already know I'm going to get it. Uh, so I'm doing great. I hope you're doing good. I don't know what's going on in your world. I heard you said you were going to get a job. You're young as fuck. I don't know why you're getting a job. But, I mean, yeah, if you want to. I mean, we do whatever you want to do. If you have that money, you can, uh, even like a part-time job, to be honest with you. If you get a, any kind of job, it ain't important to get a job. and It's important to do what you want to do. Though, you need to get a job because you need to know how to do that. It's a good experience. Even if you made it stupidly rich tomorrow, you would still wish you had a job because then if you had all that money anyway, you would be treating people that you own very harshly because you wouldn't know what it's like to have a job. <laughs> so, it's a good experience no matter what. But don't, be, don't feel like you've got to get a job, you know. But anyway... Yeah, um, if I was you, I'd totally get a job. i get a part-time job. Uh, enjoy your freedom while you can. And anything, you get out of mom's house, so it probably would be... <laughs> probably would be a good idea to get a job and be surrounded by other people. Because you got good energy, little bro. And I see you ooh, having fun with other people at a job. I can see you having a good time. You know, uh, I can see you uh, keeping the fire alive, not getting all, you know, zombie. Every day we shuffle in... <laughs> <laughs> my version I work at a factory so some people you know their theme song is every day I'm shuffling every day I'm shuffling <laughs> shuffling shuffling <laughs> they know it's when they shuffle and shuffle and <laughs> anyway um anything else I mean I love you I don't know what else to say there's not a good communication link I can talk to you but really you just message a few words to me and that's about our relationship through communication and that's really shitty at the temporal moment I'm hoping to get an Xbox one when I get in the home but the truth is I'm a good person and I got to pay off certain people to help me along my journey to get here because it wasn't so easy to escape mom's wrath and all that shit with limited resources and 
my resources that I did have being stolen and not being allowed to get my stuff or anything. So it wasn't easy at all to get this far, but I did. So even though it was hell bent purposely set up to be almost impossible, I did it anyway. Even though I had to beg on the fucking street for states. I had to beg through states to eat and drive. States, highways, interstates, front of the buildings. See that dick sporting goods? I was living a life where see those people? You know what that those people are called? <laughs> Targets. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, dude, fucking suckers. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm kidding. I was like, <laughs> no, but that would be where my income would come from for many months now just to survive. I'd be hoping I got stuck in places where like Man, I wish I could see a bunch of people with the hood up on a car. I could, that's a conversation. I could start a conversation, trade good energy, and maybe get a whole fucking dollar if I'm lucky. So, <laughs> so little brother, doing amazing. I got hundreds of bucks. I'm not going to say how much exactly, but I got money, and apartment's coming in. And uh, hopefully after I pay off some people, for because I'm going to do that before I get the Xbox, it would be fucked up of me not to do it that way. I've already promised myself not to do that. I'm going to, you know, and um, I hope I can hit you up on Xbox, to be honest with you. If I didn't ruin it just now by saying that. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that's the problem if I, if I entitled this video. Uh, you know, mom might be watching this shit. I don't fucking know. I don't really fucking care. Um, I'm not going to have a hater be the reason why I don't do things. Because that's just stupid. But um, it is important for you because, you know, you're my little brother. Uh, you're young, and there's a certain emotional strength that I have through experiences. So not everybody is uh, in my position. You're pro you're not in my position. It's just a fact. Therefore, um, it doesn't mean you got to have the same kind of relationship troubles or whatever the fuck you want to word it like I do with, my, with our mom. But, um, you know... But there is a certain amount of maintaining who you are that you shouldn't let anybody crush. And I mean anybody. Anybody. So I hope you, uh, or I know you're doing good. Dude, I like, I really do know, I can see you're going to be fine. Like out of the rest of my family, Jake, you, you're going to be fine. I can tell. I, I, I don't have to worry about it. Like, that's why leaving and all this I miss you, but but I I don't really I really don't miss almost anybody else. I really don't miss anybody else. Uh, to be honest, I can I can live the rest of my life not meeting anybody, uh, seeing them again. It wouldn't really bother me at all. But um, you still gotta grow up on your own. I mean that's just the fucking truth. You're gonna have to grow up, and you're gonna enjoy yourself. And I'm not gone forever, so don't worry about it. Uh. Just don't hit me with the timing because it's not like I'm going to make any fucking... I don't even have a home yet. I'm getting a home. That's my goal right now. So I can't really tell you much about anything because I'm still focused on hitting my target. I'm not going to be sitting here talking about how my gun's aimed up and I got it loaded or fuck the safety's off. I'm just going to shoot the fucker, hit the target, and then we'll work from there. <laughs> What's the next step? Skin the fucking deer. I need to eat. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to uh, end this. I just wanted to be a sh cute little shout out. I do love you. I hope you're doing something. I don't know. See, I just don't. I have no clue what's happening in your world. So I don't even know what kind of questions to ask you. You know... Some shit I do want to say, though you're too young. Uh, don't be taking those pharmaceutical drugs mom be handing out. That shit's not good for you at all. Those things are like, there's not a single thing that they're doing at all besides damage. So, that's just the truth. But, um, you know, besides that one, I mean, you really shouldn't be taking any fucking vaccines either. But I already know you have. There's nothing to worry about. Because you're never fucked in life. But, you know, it's like shooting heroin. Any day you want to quit, you can, those people that do heroin, if they quit, they're fine. 
it's just the problem of every time they do it again, all oh, the risks keep going up. It's like smoking cigarettes. You know how fast your body heals from quitting smoking? Pretty, like It starts to happen immediately. But if you develop a fucking cancer or anything, at that point, it's too late. It doesn't really matter that you're quitting. So th that's my point. So besides telling you, you know, to maybe stand up for yourself on being told to take pills and vaccines because I know you really don't have an opinion yourself about it. I'm not trying to force an opinion down your throat, though an opinion down your throat is a lot different than a physical pill down your throat because they are forcing that. Yeah, it's a little interesting. Or into your arm. Needle for it. Needle for it. Come on, buddy. Um, but yeah, I think it would be great if you got a job. I think you would love to have spending money. I think you would love to be able to go get your own snacks and shit when you want. Um, it's pretty cool. I know you like going to it. Like, dude, going to a, grocery, a gas station and getting something. It's the perks of being your age. It's like, just getting to go out of the house and grab something. Have spend a couple dollars. It's That's the shopping mall experience of America. So, you know. What else to say? <laughs> I'm really hoping for that Xbox One just to be able to talk to you. That'd really be nice. I'd play a game with you too, but. Um, the game thing would be more nice because that would be actually getting the bomb with you on something. That'd be really cool. Ooh, can I make that? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I don't know what you're seeing, but I'm doing it. And then flip flop sucked. <laughs> what else to say? Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> Goddamn balance. Guess where I'm heading? Chuck E. Cheese's. <laughs> Sucks to be you, Jake. <laughs> I'm going to Chuck E. Cheese's. <laughs> you think I'm fucking with you? I'm not. It doesn't have the sign, but that's the building right in front of me. Chuck E. Cheese's. <laughs> I'm going in. You can't. One, two, two. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's flip it. All right. I guess I'm going to end it. I love you, little bro. I hope you're doing good. You know, sorry that I'm gone, but I can't. I'm not changing that. Um, You're going to have to... Figure it out yourself. I got a lot of Scorpio in me, and we have a belief system. Scorpios believe that you handle shit on your own. I was just watching Dragon Ball Z. I'm, by the way, that's what I'm watching right now is a Dragon Ball Z. I'm on like episode 80-something. <laughs> and Piccolo has, in the very beginning, they always do this with great shows. Uh, they tell you deep secrets that is true of reality. Like rich people go, put it in there, put it in there, we'll pay you. They do that. They have to. Like, that's just, that's why the show, why, you, you know how many people want to draw? Dude, I went to work at McDonald's. This guy could draw. Like, he could draw cartoon characters. It was amazing. He, we'd be working at, imagine working at McDonald's, little bro. And, like, you're sitting there, because that's a good first job, by the way. Um, and of all the fast food, I highly suggest that one. <laughs> but anyway, you'd be, like, flipping a burger, and you look to your right, and there's a napkin, and it'd be, like, Sonic the Hedgehog or some character on it. From like you know Zelda, maybe like Zelda or Link from Zelda, and it'd be like whoa, and it'd just be on a net. He just leave them everywhere. There's so many people that wish they could be an animator and draw to make cartoons. It's the fact that certain people have agreements. You know why do you get to be the animator? Why? Because I'm gonna because I'm the rich fuck funding it all, and you're gonna put what I fucking want in it. So that's just kind of how it plays out. So that said, uh, in, there's, in the show Dragon Ball Z, Piccolo is in charge of Gohan. Piccolo used to be the enemy of Earth in Dragon Ball, and now he must join forces with Goku, main character, to defeat Vegeta. Wait, was it Vegeta yet? He didn't fight Vegeta yet. It was uh, Goku's brother, Raditz, who first lands. Anyway, and so he, Goku, sacrifices himself. Piccolo kills both of them with one shot, even though it wasn't, you know, it wasn't out of a dark intention like it would have been years ago in the other show. And he starts to train Gohan because Goku's dead and Vegeta is on its way, on his way to Earth. So he's got to chain, uh, train this little kid. And the first thing he does is he takes him to a faraway place and tells him you got to survive out here on your own. Most important training. And he says before he leaves, Goku sa or Gohan says, I'm scared. And Piccolo turns around and looks at him and says, Ha! 
when you figure out, when you remember, or when you figure out, I can't remember that part, uh, who you are, you will laugh in the face of your fears. I remember that. <laughs> and I was all like, what? And I wrote it down. But uh, good quote. Good point. So point is, I'm gonna, that's, you know, that's the path for you right now when it comes to me and being in your life is you need to just be on your own. Now, I remember there was a time where mom was sitting there at the kitchen table, and I know you remember it too. She was fucking screaming at you. Do you remember that moment where she was, I mean, <laughs> she was screaming at you, and she was telling you something like, you have no opinion, you have no voice, you shut the fuck up, you sit the fuck down, and I stood up for you. And I said, all right, and I fucking screamed back. And then that was the moment where you said, yeah, why the fuck are you coming into my room drunk and screaming at me? Blah, 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 blah. You remember that moment? At that moment, I knew I, I just cleared a big, like that was a program. She was downloading it into your head. That would have been something that mentally scarred you subconsciously for the rest of your fucking life. I was there. I remember feeling it. Dog just went through a spider web, but you're feeling that. <laughs> so with that said, I remember that moment, the moment I stood up for you and I watched you stand up for yourself. You just broke, you went through a, you don't know it, but in the internal world, you, you went through a portal right there. You just kind of went through a whole other direction with your life. I watched you have a splint off like a tree when it was a baby. So now that you have that fucking little branch out this way, it's going to go completely different. You're that one tree in the forest now that because you went that direction, you're going to hit that sunlight. You're fine. You're going to reach it. Otherwise you wouldn't have. I remember that moment. So now that I know that moments happened in your life, you're fine. I don't have to worry about you. Um, you're going to have to stand on your own like Gohan. Gohan's fucking powerful, though. I was watching the show. He's got like, in that episode when he gets trained properly and everything, he's like 300 points. He's like 1,400 power level compared to Piccolo's 1,100. He's like, <laughs> he's, he turns into this shit. He's awesome. And uh, that's what you got to go. You got to go through that little experience. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to watch um, episode, I think we're actually, I think I'm actually on episode like 90 something. I've never been watched a show like this in, in forever. So it's been, it's been an experience. I've just been going to work and trying to maintain myself. Keeping it up with it. Keeping up with it. And once I get this apartment besides the Xbox, I'm going to go scuba diving. So there's, and I'm an hour and something away from the beach. So that's exciting. So uh, I do love you. Keep rocking it. Comment below. Comment anything. I don't care what, what you got to say, but comment something, little bro. All right, I love you.